All right, guys, this video is pretty scattered. Uh, it's from a few different weekends, I'm trying to get the Bimmer running the way it should so I can drive it around more reliably. Um, tried to go up the first time, got it going, and the O2 fell out on the way home, went back up, fixed that, that sort of a deal. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy it. Check this out. So last time we tried to shoot this airbag, you can see all the little pellet holes. Oh, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but yeah, you see all the little pellet holes. Bird shot. There it sits, the battery's dead. So we're gonna go get a jump pack or something like that and pull her into the garage over here. Seems like when I let it sit, this freaking door seal sags, but let's see if it actually starts. All right, so quick thing to do for the night. I was gonna install this new boost gauge in this location. I'll show you why in a second. So this came off of this nipple and then this light twists and comes out and then I'll have to force this out and show you the crazy uh, tape action here. Alright so this is 3D printed and I didn't make it the right size so it only covered part of it. I taped it in, glued the light thing onto it got this crazy JB Weld concoction because this thing broke so hopefully this new one is better so I didn't bring my soldering iron along but I got some butt connectors and stuff like that so I'm gonna chop these hook it up to the uh, light for the boost gauge wires it's just getting rid of that light for the old boost gauge and putting that light up to the same wires so so here's the delicious final product it's got two little uh, crimp connect disconnectable dealy whoppers into there let's see if it uh, if it works I'm gonna get this in neutral there it is lit up pretty sweet Says negative 25 pounds of vacuum. That's probably false. So all right, second gear pull. does it idle. Revs up to about 1100, goes down to like 7 in a like oscillation. So I drilled a hole right there. It was all full of water. Alright, loaded up the Merc with all the goodies. Trunk's full too. And then uh Gonna be taking the Bimmer down on about an hour road trip. So uh, my O2 sensor stripped out, and uh, about five minutes into the drive back, it was running really good, um, but I could hear it fall out, and then the exhaust got a lot louder. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I got it pulled up so it dangles, it doesn't drive uh, rub on the ground, and. Uh, we're gonna go and tack weld it in so that we can break off the tack welds when we need to replace it. But the threads are uh, bad. There's like one good thread, so it just comes out right away. So, one eternity later. All right, it's a little update. Um, we got the new bungs in O2, but for now, because I don't have the right drill bit, I'm just gonna be um, putting the old sensor in and then tack welding it so it doesn't keep falling out. All right, so here's under the car. This is the bung that's stripped out. You can see those threads are, or the outside's nice and cleaned up. And then this is the O2. You can see that that's clean metal too. 
used a wire brush on the cordless drill. So I'm gonna thread this into the strip threads as far as it'll go, and then just put one little tiny bead on there so it'll be easy to take off. That's what it'll look like for the welding. Clean metal, bridge a little gap, and then clean metal here. Uh, I'll probably just put one thick bead there. Well, looks like shit. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry, it's so scattered. Coming up pretty soon here, we got some big projects. We got line lock install. I'm sure we'll have some huge burnouts for that video because we got to test out that line lock. Um, stuff like that. I got FMU tuning. Uh, we got, well, we already did FMU tuning, but the FMU is uh, not working super hot. So it's stuck at 60 PSI um, idle pressure and then it works up from that so we got to figure that out get it down to about 40 uh, I think there's something in there sticking that that uh, plunger down um, so that it's just stuck and pinching off that line all the time uh, I got some really nice fuel line to install and lots of good stuff coming so yeah, stay tuned for the shed skids and uh, peace out.